Hey there. So you have your shiny new VR headset and are wondering what are the best games currently out for the Quest 2. Well, in this video we're gonna look at the top 10 best Oculus Quest and Quest 2 games that you should install first to take your new toy for a spin. Drop a like if you enjoy this type of content so that I know to create more videos just like this one. These are all highly rated titles, so stay tuned and also watch until the end for a bonus that will enable you to play even more amazing games on your Quest 2. I'm Andy, welcome back to VR Man Cave. Whether you like action or adventure games, puzzles, story-driven games, or maybe just casual pick-up-and-play types of games, there's something in this list for everyone, so let's jump right in. Red Matter. We'll kick off the list with this story-driven, sci-fi-themed puzzle game. Since their release, it's been acclaimed as by far one of the best-looking games on the original Oculus Quest. And now, the graphics have been enhanced even more to take advantage of the extra horsepower that the Quest 2 offers. Red Matter will have you playing as an American government agent that has been sent to a Soviet base located on the moon. The base has suspiciously been evacuated, and your job is to recover clues and research left behind, and investigate the circumstances of what happened. You'll be equipped with limited tools in your spacesuit, a small flashlight, a translation device and your hands. With pretty clear inspiration taken from sci-fi movies such as 2001 A Space Odyssey, this puzzler builds a lot of tension as you progress through it trying to get to the bottom of the mysterious events. Next to the amazing graphics, this game offers you the option of room scale mobility, which means you'll be able to move using your actual legs in order to navigate the game, but this will of course be limited by your actual physical playing space. If you don't have a big enough room, don't worry, you'll still be able to fully enjoy the game with two other mobility options that are just as immersive. This game is definitely worth being on your watch list and after watching the whole video you can decide which ones you'd like to purchase first. Super Hot VR. You might have already heard about this one, but I cannot miss including it in this list as it's still one of the best, most frustratingly fun games you can play in VR, especially on the Quest and Quest 2, since the wire-free experience is that much more immersive and liberating. If you've ever dreamed of being in the shoes of Neo and dodging bullets in slow-mo, then you'll absolutely adore Super Hot VR, since the basic premise of the game is that time only moves when you do. So figuring out what your next best move should be is crucial, because you might be better off cracking a bottle on your enemy's head than reaching for a faraway gun, since that involves more movement and the flying bullets around you might get too close for you to dodge by the time you have the gun, making you have to start over. Paying close attention to your enemies and which ones you need to take out first is really important. And don't let the simple graphics fool you, this game gets super challenging at times, but it's what makes it so much fun to play again and again. There's no super deep story in this one, but the gameplay itself absolutely makes up for that small downside. And be ready to get a bit of a workout in as well, since you'll be dodging, squatting and reaching quite a lot. Whether you enjoyed the Matrix series or were a big fan of the pioneer of bullet time in gaming, Max Payne, I guarantee you'll absolutely love this one and be glad you got it. The developers have also promised to activate 90Hz mode once Oculus enables it, so the experience will be even smoother and better. Moss. If you're more into story-driven games, then this one should make your favorites list pretty much instantly, because the storytelling aspect is absolutely superb. Moss will offer you a mix of puzzles and light combat scenes where you will be helping out the tiny heroine named Quill save her uncle. You'll be transported into the rodent-sized diorama world as the Reader, a powerful force that cannot be seen but helps the residents of Moss, specifically Quill, to navigate her environment and overcome obstacles. Obstacles. With fantastic visual and sound design, the way the 3D audio and the on-screen animations sync up is just a magical experience, and falling in love with the game world and the characters is guaranteed. As you progress through the levels, you'll help Lil Quill move around, battle enemies, and figure out puzzles involving moving platforms, pressure pads, and a lot more. Everything about this game is absolutely delightful, and you should surely keep it in mind as a top option to get you started, especially if maybe the Quest 2 is your first dip into VR, as the experience is played seated, so you'll be super comfortable while unfolding the story of this masterpiece. Vader Immortal. Star Wars anyone? This three-part saga is a graphical marvel and you should try it whether you're a fan of the movies or not. The feeling of handling a lightsaber in VR and using the force is just something that has to be experienced. For the true fans, the story is set between Revenge of the Sith and A New Hope and offers a cinematic experience that feels both true to the series with familiar events as well as bringing its 
own unique narrative to keep things fresh and interesting. I'm not going to spoil any of the story for you, but Vader Immortal is described by the developers as a story living experience, since it gracefully combines cinematic moments with interactivity and the sense of presence is one of the best I've seen. Standing face to face with the Dark Lord himself is a spine chilling affair, and having him as both your mentor and your enemy throughout the series is just fantastic. The story itself is not super long, but each of the episodes also offers a lightsaber dojo, which will send waves of enemies your way and this is a very good reason to keep coming back even after going through the main campaign. And with a decent price per episode, it's absolutely worth giving a try. Beat Saber. I know you've probably seen tons of gameplay videos of it, but believe me that watching it on a flat screen as a viewer is not even close to what it feels like to actually play it on your Quest 2. The music, the effects, the adrenaline, the sweat, all of these just come together beautifully and there's very good reason why Beat Saber has remained one of the absolute must-haves for anyone that owns a VR headset. It's extremely fun, a great workout and now even has a multiplayer mode, plus it already comes with a ton of replayability and you can also either purchase additional song packs like Imagine Dragons or Linkin Park or simply use BMBF to add pretty much any song you like for free with a great community constantly adding to it. I've left it to you to decide which games on this list you want to purchase first, but in this case, do yourself a favor and get Beat Saber, you'll not regret and you'll thank me later. So we're halfway through the top 10, but these other games are even more amazing. So stay with me and drop a like on the video if you've enjoyed it so far, and subscribe for more top Quest 2 games in the future. Now back to number 6, The Walking Dead. Saints and Sinners. Alright, this is about to get real. You jump in and see a rotting zombie coming for you, and the first thing you'll feel is, damn, what do I do? Then you'll notice a rusty shiv on the ground and grab that brain dead sucker by the neck and shove that shiv into its eye, and quickly realize how insane that was and why this game is an absolute must have and is totally worth the higher price tag. This is a survival game, so it involves crafting better items, navigating zombie riddled buildings, and going through very intense missions. The the physics in this one are very well developed, so the immersion and sense of presence are extremely good and you'll find yourself trembling as you look around every dark corner with your flashlight in one hand and weapon of choice in the other. As you gather more loot, you'll have a wide choice of weapons from melee ones like knives, axes and katanas to ranged weapons like pistols, shotguns, bows and so much more. The game is based in New Orleans and the map itself is huge with a lot of things to do and mechanics that are just superb for VR in general. But especially in a zombie infested world where you'll need to be careful not just about the undead but other survivors as well since it's pretty much every man for himself. It's a very involved experience that's so much more than it seems on the surface with an interesting story and a rather deep and complex world that feels as real as it gets. And one aspect that particularly adds to that is the fact that it actually uses the microphone on the headset to alert nearby zombies of your presence. So if you get startled and scream all the other zombies in the area will hear you and likely come to get a bite to eat. For full immersion, I recommend getting this one once you're used to smooth locomotion in VR, as it can take a few days or weeks for your brain to adjust to the conflict between your eyes and your inner ear, so that you can enjoy the heck out of it. So maybe pick up one or two other games from the list first, but definitely have this one ready because it's very, very well made. Echo Arena. If you've seen the movie Ender's Game, you'll very quickly understand what this game is all about, since it's pretty much an exact replica of the battle room in the film. If you haven't seen it, it's on Netflix, check it out, it's awesome. Anyway, this is an extremely fast-paced, competitive multiplayer game where you'll be part of a team of up to 4 players and go head-to-head -head with another team in a sci-fi ultimate frisbee game set in a zero-gravity virtual arena that looks stunning. In that setting, you'll be able to do pretty much anything you naturally think is possible. From gliding by just pulling yourself from surfaces, to flying around using the small boosters on your arms, or hanging on to other players to catch a ride across the field. It's a full contact sport, so you can punch your way to victory by stunning your opponents and scoring goals to be the ultimate echo champion. This is an extremely well made game and it's completely free on the Oculus Store. But do note that you need to take it easy at first since it can cause a bit of motion sickness to beginners. Robo Recall Unplugged. Fast paced, over the top, robot blasting fun. Those are a few ways in which I'd describe this one. It's one of the best action titles you can play in VR and I'm really hoping for it to be updated to take full advantage of the extra power of the Quest 2. Play the role of a recaller whose sole job is to shut down rogue robots that have taken over the city. 
you'll be able to blast them with guns, pull off and beat them with their own limbs and even deflect their own bullets back towards them. The fairly brief story has a good dose of humor and while it doesn't have a lot of variety, the replayability is still decent since there are multiple challenges you can achieve by disposing of the robo enemies in creative ways so it can give you hours and hours of crazy and quirky fun. The Climb Developed by the critically acclaimed Crytek, this one is a marvel to gaze at, as it's one of the best looking games on the platform, as long as you're not afraid of heights, of course. It's a first person rock climbing game with very realistic scenery and incredibly interesting game mechanics, which showcases the developer's huge attention to detail and visual fidelity. You'll maybe want to do a bit of stretching before giving it a go, since you'll be straining your neck muscles quite a bit while trying to look around for the next ledge you'll reach out to and pulling yourself up or attempting to jump from one ledge to the other. Each of the three difficulty levels it offers will lead you on a different path around the rock, which increases replayability and you'll also be able to race the ghost of the best climber as well as practice as much as you want in the game's infinite climbing wall. The developer has already announced The Climb 2, which will feature even more locations and I expect it to be enhanced for the quest 2. But until then, this is a great game for nature lovers that will literally leave you hanging while your jaw drops from the amazing landscapes around you. The Room VR, a dark matter. If you've ever tried a game from the Room series on your phone or tablet, you know the basics of it. It's a puzzle solving, escape room like game which was already a ton of fun as a flat game. But bringing it into VR and actually being able to physically look around and use your hands to solve the increasingly complicated puzzles is just mind blowing. You'll have to find clues around the environment and use them to solve puzzles that get you closer and closer to completing your goal. In A Dark Matter, that goal is to find the hidden relics, while progressing through a creepy world sprinkled with references to dark magic and fantastic creatures. Don't worry, it's not a horror game, but the atmosphere it creates really adds to the experience. Figuring out the puzzles and interacting with the in-game objects is extremely satisfying, and the way they're intertwined with each other is extremely creative and fun to discover. This series has always looked fantastic even on smartphones and its newest VR edition is no exception. Everything is super detailed and the puzzles themselves are clever as hell and you'll experience various perspectives. For example, at one point the game shrinks you down to the size of a mouse in order to solve a particular puzzle box from the inside which is one of the many wow moments that the game offers. If you enjoy a challenge and are a fan of atmospheric games, you'll love this one. Hope this list was useful and fun to watch and now for the bonus that I promised you at the beginning of the video. This has been a breakthrough product for Quest owners and now with the Quest 2 it makes even more sense to take advantage of all of its capabilities. You'll basically be able to see and interact with your actual PC while in the headset which unlocks a world of possibilities from simply playing Xbox games to using all of the things you have installed on your computer already. It's one of those things that is worth every last cent of the price since it opens up so many more PC exclusive VR games and experiences for you to enjoy from any platform you like such as Boneworks or Steam's Half life Alex and all of it completely untethered on your new Oculus Quest 2. I'll be coming out with a video on how to install and use it very soon so consider subscribing to see how it's done and a few tips and tricks to get the best performance out of it. As always I really hope you enjoyed the video leave a comment down below to let me know which one from the list was your favorite. Until next time stay safe and enjoy VR. Cheers! Nobody.